See that? How close I can come here. Because of the better downforce. Ah! But I can't get it on the track here! No, not this lap. RS 1988 was one of those very rare Grand Prix where the McLaren turbos weren't super OP. Yes, Senna took pole and yes, Alain Prost won the race, that's true, but on hardly any other track in the 1988 season, qualifying was that close between the McLaren turbos and all the other cars. As it's written down in the book, both McLaren drivers complained about the turbo lag not really getting their turbo advantage to work here and that made it possible for mainly the Williamses and the Benettons in their natural inspired engines to come pretty close to Senna and Post. Mansell was only one tenth of a second behind Post on the grid in P3 and also in the race though Post did the fastest lap with a 127.8. Mansell came pretty close with a 127.9. First of all, please excuse my sort of extravagant and eccentric outfit. And by that, I don't mean the jersey. I mean this one here. This is almost dripping wet because I need some head cooler <laughs> in my roof here, which is now 32.3 degrees Celsius. Sunday afternoon, 5 p.m. while I'm recording this. And I just need a bit more cooling because the race is going to be a hot one, the recreation of the 1988 Grand Prix in which the natural aspired cars would have a chance to compete against the turbos and even the McLarens who complained a lot about turbo lag. So that's a pretty cool outset on a fantastic track I have to say. It has a great flow to it. It is a classic track with a lot of grass and gravel directly next to the asphalt. So here now on the grid it's Senna in P1 sharing the first row with Michaela Alboreto, Berger in third, Mansell in fourth, I am in fifth and Prost only in sixth. That's that's quite a disappointment. <laughs> Rounding out the top ten is P.K. Bootsen, who is my teammate here because I am in Alessandro Nanini's car, the Benetton. Ivan Capelli and Maurizio Gujelmin have a look for ourselves, for the other guys. Ah, the usual suspects there in the last rows, Alijes, the Zuckspeed, the Real, Nevertheless, an authentic custom grid, authentic skins. What's not authentic still is the helmets, the gloves, the overalls. Perhaps that's going to come sometime in the future. But nevertheless, the 1988 Grand Prix with the most relevant cars. And of course, the genuine McLaren MP44 by Ryza. This is going to be a hard race because it's so hard on the tires. I've changed to mediums and let's see if I can compete with these guys over the next 14 Apps. Okay, mate. All right, ready? of course, damage is on full. Green, and here green, we green. are, green, second, wheel spin, third. Oh, yeah, controllable. Drag race with Frost. Come on. Oh. Got him for once. Whoa. Ah, so much more understeer and unwillingness and to turn in here. Oh. Okay, come on now. This is where I'm better exiting the, the chicane. Yeah, got Mansell at least. Hold your line. Clear left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the understeer. You can almost go full through here in fifth. Just a little tap on the brakes and then it's full throttle again. Not now. Oh, I have to fight so hard to not to understeer onto the grass. Whew. Well, Senna in front is already two seconds up. Come on. 2.8 seconds. Wow. Keep it up. We're looking good here. P4. 
Senna and his first laps. <laughs> I think un unlike reality, the MP4s are actually OP here. And it's just a question of time when uh, Ghost will also be overtaking all of us, I think. I must concentrate on fighting here against the Ferraris and with the Williamses. Wow, that was close. The understeer! <laughs> it's all so close. Ooh. The leader has just done a 126, 128. <laughs> That's already 1.5 seconds faster than Post's real life. Fastest lap. Yeah, the heavier car, the medium flicks lead to a yeah, much more understeery car. And that is although I made it even more down for a seat. <laughs> what a beast. Now, oh, come on. Another chance here for me. Yes. P3. Wow. What am I doing? 128. Remember, boss, real life. Fastest lap was a 127.8. Nigel did it. Whoa, 127.9. Just a good tenth behind. I should be able to do that. Your right front's carrying a bit of wear. Come on. Left side. Clear left. Well done, Timo. Good pass. Nice yeah. front. Back of course behind me. So close, I'm already 11 seconds, 10 seconds behind, 11 seconds behind now. Right side, clear right. Use all the track, force them to find the gap. It's so, so too late, Timo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're out of track limits. Yeah, now. I know. 
I know. And no warning. Interesting. A definitely shortcut it there. It's saying fifth. Try to, yeah. Rotate the car. That's okay. Oh. Oh, Timo, come on. Ansel overtook uh, Alboreto. And Post is only in P7. Wow. Of course I can understand why this track isn't on the F1 calendar today anymore, but it fits perfectly to this era of F1. Flat curbs, grass, gravel, armcos and walls in sight, mid to high speed a lot. Right side. No, 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 come on. There's no room, Nigel. <laughs> and it invites you to you to, to cut a lot to let the, the inner wheels yeah explore the track limits. Still suffering like crazy from the understeer. <sighs> Come on. Bit to deep. Perhaps now with a better angle. Oh. Throttle control is everything. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Sure yeah, that was a good lap. See that? 26.8. Almost on par with Ayaton. Don't overdo it, Timo. Don't overdo it, man. Ah. A couple of corners says so much better.
No, oh, Timo, come on. Oh, I had to wait, 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 wait. Ooh. That last lap was at 128.36. Right. There he is. Hold your line. Going through. Right. All right, Nudge. Bad luck, Timo. Come on, don't let him get away. The car ahead is Mansell. See that? How close I can come here? Because of the better downforce. Ah! I can't get it on the track here. No, not this lap. Just having a look, putting some pressure on him. But from here on, I'm really suffering. Now, now he might be pulling away half a second or so for the rest of the lap. Let's see. No! Gap to Alberetto behind is now 5.6 seconds. Ah, oh, come on. That's bad. I'm not giving up here. Well, these were the 80s and early 90s, guys. Big differences between the cars, big differences on the track. Even here, where it was, yeah, more or less on par between the fastest turbos and naturally inspired engines. In the end, a lot of huge gaps. where he kind of settled. Come on. What can I do? Five, six, seven. That lap was at yeah. 127.72. Okay. okay, but nothing more. Mansell pulling away. It's so hard to keep track. Now, oh, lost sight of him. Wow. And you know, our eyesight is crucial when chasing someone. Come on, I don't want to give up. Imagining doing this with a completely full car, 200 liters, 72 laps. I mean, the car already feels much oh, more sluggish then. In quality, much heavier on the steer. Sector one is 0.8 off the pace. Sector two is 0.6. Must feel the awful then. Sector three is a second off the pace.
I think I cannot get more out of the tires. More pushing doesn't make much sense. Ah, oh, look at that. They're already leaving me. What's that? Two laps left. Already Run back markers. Wow. So early. Ah, come on, Timo. I cannot afford these <laughs> these mistakes. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> the tires have definitely seen their best times. So hard, so hard. And I mean, this is authentic tire wear. How could they do a whole distance with these or just stop once? Or maybe all of them had the hardest compound, I don't know. But it demands so much skill to not wear the tires out too quickly with such a heavy car, which notoriously oh, tries to understeer out of a track. Man. Yeah, I'm locking up now constantly. Let's take a look at the tires. Oh yeah, see that? <laughs> it's medium tires, 14 laps. Wow. Authentic tire wear, I repeat. Now imagine I, I would have put this on five times tire wear. No chance whatsoever. I've tried with accelerated and even that put me in a very bad spot. Seeing minor wear on your left side tires. See that 1.8 seconds ready. down. Yeah, that's the tires. Uh, wow. Okay, for the last time, round the last corner, over the line. On the podium. Good drive. Wow, I'm satisfied with that, guys. It's so hard not, not to make fatal mistakes that uh, make you end up in the wall or in the gravel. Yeah, the cars either tend to, to oversteer under acceleration or understeer when trying to turn in. So difficult, yet very rewarding if you somehow get it right. It's a blast in the quali where the car more or less does what you want it to do. It's much more difficult here in the race, even if you're only on a fifth of the original distance. Senna won that race pretty dominantly. His best was a 126.2. Nigel in second with a 127.0. I'm in third, 29 seconds behind Senna. Seven seconds, almost seven seconds behind Nigel. No chance for me to catch him after he had passed me. But at least I did the second fastest lap of the race, which was a 126.8, I guess. Yeah, wow, what a cool race, man. Wow. So demanding. Uh, it's 
I, I find it more difficult than the, the Generation 4. They are much more planted and controllable. These guys are raw, you, you can feel that. Even the natural inspired ones, but of course, at last, I love them. If someone is watching who's into modding, here's my request. Please add helmets, gloves and overalls. Then we're all set for a perfect recreation of the 1988 season. That would be cool, that would be fun. In the background, you can now see the, uh, the rest of the results. Pick your favorites. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm, have a nice day. I'm saying goodbye here from the sauna under my roof. And now sweating for today. Have a good time. See you on the next one. Bye bye.